back and I hope you're glad about it. Since you're watching now, I guess you're very ready to learn, right? Well, with the current situation we have right now, most of us are forced to stay inside the house. So, why don't we try to name those things that we often see inside? Aren't you curious? Let's start. If you have those trivial or little things in your living room, say the souvenir that you got from your previous trips or the wedding ceremony that you attended, then you have knickknacks in your living room. Yes, you call them knickknacks, the same name as we call those Filipino snacks which have uh, strawberry, chocolate or milk flavor. Oftentimes we call this a cabinet, but this one is a cabinet too and here is another cabinet. I think this is another Filipino thing. We tend to use one word or one name for almost everything which looks like it. This thing that we often see in the kitchen with multiple doors is cupboard. Quick pronunciation guide, this word has a silent P, so we don't say cupboard, it's cupboard. We use this to store ingredients, plates, cups, glasses, or just basically dishwares. Again, the name is cupboard. Next is this gigantic thing that we either see in the kitchen or in the dining room. Well, if your mom or grandma is very fond of collecting china wares, then you might relate to what I'm saying. This is, I think, the one which is a true cabinet because you call that china cabinet or just simply cabinet. Next is this one. It's the thing that you use to store your clothes or the snacks that you don't want to share with your family members. Well, I'm just kidding. Anyway, you call that closet. Well, be careful when you pronounce the word because you might be confused because of the word clothes, which has a long O sound. This one has short O sound, so it's not closet, it's closet. And since we're already talking about clothes, let's have that thing that we use to wash them. Don't worry you're using the right word, you really call it a washing machine, but let me just give you a synonym since that term is quite long and we love to shorten words. Another word for that is a washer. After doing the laundry, of course you have to hang your clothes and you'll surely need this. This thing that we use to hang the clothes is called as a clothesline and if it is windy, of course you don't want your clothes to fall on the ground so you might need some clothespins. You might also come across with the word peg which is a British word for it. Well, in some houses they have this which comes pretty handy especially if the weather is bad and you can't hang your clothes outside. So you can just put them inside using this which is a clothes rack. Rack is a pretty useful word when we're talking about things that we often see inside a house because we have a lot of names for those things which second word is a rack like shower rack, dish rack, a shoe rack and again this one is clothes rack. And since I mentioned the inside of the house, let's go straight to the kitchen. You might know already what this is called. Yes, it's spatula but we can't call all of these spatulas, can we? This one is a ladle. It's that thing that we use if you have soup or a dish with plenty of soup in it. And this one is a skimmer. It looks like a ladle but it has holes on it. Again, spatula, ladle, skimmer. This thing that we use when frying is called as a spider strainer or just simply spider. Whereas the other one, the thing that we use when washing the vegetables is called as a colander or a strainer. Again, spider colander or strainer. Next to the list are this. We call this one a pan and this one is also a pan. Sad to say we only have one pan in this two. Do you know which one? Yes, it's this one. We call this frying pan or just simply pan. This one is a wok which is more common I think in a Filipino's kitchen. Again, frying pan or pan and wok. You're now done cooking! Hooray! You'll absolutely need a dining table and this one is not the typical dining table that we have in our houses since it has that smaller round table on top of it which you can spin just to avoid getting up and getting the food from the other side of the table and since it saves you some time and effort you call this Lazy Susan or 
turntable. Well, don't ask me who Susan is. I don't know who she is. Don't write that on the comment section. Well, you can write on the comment section though, but not that one. Again, lazy Susan or turntable. Let's now test your memory. I'll flash each picture again and you have to try to name each of them. Are you ready? words did you remember? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I hope you're at least having a good time at home or maybe at work. Have a great day everyone. I'll see you on my next video. Bye!